Hey, Girls Golf Girls. Welcome to our Spring 2020 Girls Golf. We are so bummed that we are not at the golf course with you. And we're also so bummed that you all can't see each other face to face. But you know what? We are thrilled that you invited us into your homes tonight. And we are going to do Girls Golf with you at home. So um, no coronavirus is going to get us down because we have some girl power. Hey, we have a lot of you on the call tonight, on the webinar tonight, and we want to say thank you. And we have what we think is a pretty fun uh, night planned for you. But first, let's introduce uh, our other coaches. So you all remember Coach Ann and Coach Erica, and they want to welcome you too. Hey girls, uh, super excited to see, or not really see everybody, but uh, at least be, you guys can see us and I hope you enjoy everything tonight. Same here. Um, really wish we were all together at Blacklick because tonight would have been our first night. And of course, it's a gorgeous night. So we got some fun things planned for everyone. So Denise, take it away. All righty. Well, um, let's jump right in. Um, we're going to jump right in with um, the five E-words because that is the foundation of girls golf. So um, a lot of you already have the five E words memorized. You can say them backwards. You can say them forwards. But I want to ask you, why? Why five E words? Why, why are there five E words? Well, I just want to put this in your thought head to think about, put this for you as a thought. The five E words, they encourage us to engage with others. They give us confidence through empowerment. They give us energy through exercise. And they energize us through fun activities and being with our friends, which obviously we can't do that so much now unless we do it virtually. They also teach us to enrich our lives and the lives of others. And I think now more than ever, putting the five word E words into play at home is going to be huge for each and every one of you. So I have a list that um, Erica is going to show us um, of the five E words or of E5, or excuse me, E words. And we want you guys to interact with us as much as you can. So um, I want you to write in the comment section because we can see everything you write. If you have any questions, just type it all out. Uh, even if you do type like this or if you type like this, doesn't matter. Just type it all out so we can see. So um, show them the, um, what are the five E words, Erica? Okay, ladies, you're going to have to hold with us because this is our first time doing this. Can, can you guys see that, Denise? Yep. No. I can. Denise, you can't? No, I can't. Oh. Can the girls, girls, can you see it? Somebody type us a note if you can see it. Yep. Hope so. Yep. We're getting a lot of yeses. Yes, they can see it. Okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Well, I don't know why my screen changed, but um, it's the spirit. So anyway, so um, got a bunch of E-words here. So I'm sure that you girls can uh, pick out and recognize any of the five E-words. So if you would, let us know what are the five E-words. Write as many as you see um, that are the foundation of the girls' golf. All of these E-words are great E-words, but um, the five E-words, uh, like I said, they're the foundation of girls' golf, and they're what's really important now. And while you're typing those in, I don't know why my screen changed. So I think all the E-words that are up on the screen right now are great E-words. Um, I think we could use all of those at various points, but we want to know what the five E-words are that we've already talked about. All right, yeah, Lauren's exactly. getting them there. So, so far, Lauren's saying engage, empower, enrich, energize. What's the last one? Anybody? Look at Lauren. No Lauren, all right. right. Exercise. Good job, Lauren. And if I remember, that is one of Lauren's favorites, exercise. So um, good job, good job, good job. Well, um, one thing we want you girls to work on, we want to focus on two E words today. And I can't see me at all. Can you guys see me? Yes. Okay. There. You're good. 
I don't know why. It's what wacko on me. So I'm not even touch anything either. Coach Denise is better at golf than she is IT. I'm just going to tell you girls that right now. So anyway, um, two E words that we want to focus on, both for this week and next week. Engage and empower. And we feel those are two really good E words to focus on right now with everything that's going on, the new normal that we have. That's temporary, but, but it's how life is right now. So engaging. I want to talk about that for just a second. With engaging, um, different ways that you can engage at home with your family, playing games, uh, different ways you can engage with your friends um, online and doing your schoolwork online. And then also want to touch on empower. Empower is such a powerful word right now because with the word empower, we can use this time that we're stuck at home, safe at home, where we can't get out. We can use this time to make ourselves better. Uh, we can work on ourselves while we're home. We can give ourselves permission to eat right, to exercise, to get outside, to do different activities. And most importantly, to make this a real memorable time with your families and play games and do different things. Like, um, I know a couple of you are gonna watch the uh, Founders movie that is about how the LPGA started. And I think that's fantastic. Very, very good movie. Always good to know where um, the LPGA came from, the Ladies Professional Golf Association. Many of you may not know that it is the longest running women's professional sports um, in, for all the sports. So um, organization, I should say. So anyway, um, Coach Erica is going to show us the slide about engage and then the slide with empower. I think right now what we want from you girls is um, if you can either in the Q and A or in the chat box, if you can give us some ways that you guys are engaging, or let's do engage first, um, since that screen's up there. What, what are some ways that you girls are engaging at home? Um, could be with your friends in the neighborhood, your family, friends from school, anything. What, what, what are you girls doing? And if you can just, Type something in the chat, that'd be awesome. I know for myself, um, a lot, of, I've been walking quite a bit in our neighborhood and um, a lot of neighbors are also out walking. So we've been able to talk to each other quite a bit, obviously from a, a good distance, but we've been able to talk to each other and kind of just see how everybody's doing and catch up that way. Okay, and we're getting some ideas here. Uh, Brooklyn um, says she's doing Zoom youth group. Piper is going on lots of bike rides and walks, which I see tons of people in our neighborhood doing that. Um, Hope is uh, doing uh, Zoom videos with her youth group and uh, various family members. And Lauren said she's, um, done some FaceTime chats with her friend Sophia and I bet you that's the Sophia that is one of our girls golf members as well. Um, ooh, Brooklyn said she's been doing sidewalk chalk in her neighborhood um, oh, so that cool. people that are out walking can see so that's re that's really cool. Um, Addison's doing a lot of things with her family. Those are awesome ideas. I like them. Let's see. Ah, Matt, okay, so Madison and Hope are logged in together. Okay, that's good. Yep, Lauren said so that is her uh, girlfriend, Sophia. Um, Kaya's riding bikes and um, doing messenger for kids. Awesome. So those are great ways to engage with people, even though you may not be able to see them um, face to face or be out on the golf course or at school with them. So those are awesome ideas. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, I don't know. I sent out a video not that long ago that the first team put out where I was out walking my dog. So that's just being outside. We're inside a lot and with the schoolwork and everything being online. When the weather is uh, breaks for us and we get a chance to be outside, take advantage of it. 
definitely. So glad to hear everybody is doing that. Um, one, so, one, okay. one last comment on the um, engage. Millie said that she's talking to her friends when she's out walking their dogs. So that's awesome. Good job, Millie. Awesome, awesome. Good job, everyone getting active too. Yes. Well, for those of you that don't know, Millie's dog is actually taller than Millie. So uh, that's great when she's out <laughs> walking, walking her dog. So um, I think now um, Coach Erica is going to show a way that one of our girls golf participants has sent in that she is engaging. Hi, everyone. Oh, oh buddy. Hold on, guys. Okay. I'm Coach Alexis, and I'm here with Lauren. We really miss seeing everyone and we look forward to seeing you all again soon. But today we want to tell you about how we're staying engaged in the game of golf from our very own home. We're going to tell you about two different websites where we found some fun activities for us to do. So the first one is our favorite, girlsgolf.org. Right on their homepage of their website, there is the Home on the Range link where you can find and download all of the various activities. Lauren is going to walk us through those. Yeah. So. My, one of my favorite ones are that you can color these people that there are the five E words, five, numb, engage, energize, enrich, empower, and exercise. And then another one of my favorite ones were, was that I could write what Girl Golf has taught me, and I could color it around it. We're going to do that one later today. Yeah. And... And then you, there's some coloring activities that you can do. You can color a unicorn and do and color all this. And this one's my favorite of all. It that you can color, color and make your own outfit. And you should print out more than one of these because you can do multiple outfits. So Laura is a fashion designer for us for golf. And there's also two word searches, and there's the easy one that I have here, and then there's the hard one. And what are some of those words that you're looking for? They're the ones that I was mostly looking for were the five E words, mm -hmm. and and then there's gold, healthy, smart, dry run, and positive. Yes, all great words that go with girls' golf. And then this is your last activity. There's other activities, but this is the last one Lauren wanted to present today. And then there's Mad Lib, where you can create two stories. Yeah, so you just fill in your words. And, and then, then you write your story. Great. The other thing that we found on the website is a link to the movies, The Founder, The Founders. Um, so we're going to have a movie night. We're going to camp out in our living room and pop some popcorn. And we're going to watch the movie about the 13 founding members of the Ladies Professional Golf Association and the trials that they faced uh, during the 1940s when they were founding LPGA. And I will let you know you the report of that. Yes, we look forward to the movie and the report. All right, the last thing we want to tell you about is an activity that we found on the American Society of Golf Course Architects website. Again, that's the American Society of Golf Course Architects website. Lauren, you want to tell us about what that one is? Yes, so you get to create your own hole, and it's not a competition, and you can you can submit it through ages 1 through 8, 9 through 13, and 14 through 17, and the 14 through 17 took it very seriously. Yes, there's a lot of really great designs from those older kids, but this is supposed to be a fun activity. Again, it's not a competition. Yeah. You submit it to them and they may post it on their website or on their social channels, mm -hmm. right? So we look forward and we hope that we get to see some of your designs on there too. We'll be looking for them. Yep. Right? Uh -huh. Well, thank you for your time. We, again, we miss seeing everyone and we know that we're going to get to see you all soon. But in the meantime, we're staying engaged in golf from home. Bye everyone. Bye. Thank you so much for, to Lauren and Coach Alexa for Alexis for doing that, um, those activities for us. Um, I think what we'll do is we will have um, somebody from the first tee office send out those links to your girls so that you guys can um, 
maybe check out some of those fun activities, uh, maybe uh, design a golf hole for, the, um, for that contest. Um, those are some awesome ideas, I think. So um, I think we maybe lost Coach Denise. I'm not sure exactly where she went. Um, so I know we talked about um, Engage. Do we want to talk about maybe some ideas that you girls have? Um, how, how are you empowering yourself during this kind of time at home? Or are you empowering other people in your family or, you know, whatever, any ideas that you have? Um, if you want to type in the chat, that would be awesome. I know for me, um, it, for me, it's kind of, it's been a little bit difficult to be at home all the time. Um, I'm definitely not used to that. I'm willing to kind of be out and about a lot. Um, so one thing that's kind of helped me and kind of um, help my, improve my mood and kind of just my outlook on everything is just to get outside as much as possible. Um, I've been walking probably four, five, six miles a day just for something to do. Um, just kind of helps me clear my head and I don't know, that, that's kind of a way I can kind of improve myself. So um, if you girls have some ideas, um, why don't you let us know what, um, what, you, what you girls have been doing to empower others, okay? I totally agree with Coach Ann. I have been um, keeping safe at home. I also have to go to work occasionally. So when I don't, I'm here and I am definitely doing my workouts and staying um, energized and engaged and empowering myself through this time. And it looks like Coach Denise is back. Ah, there she is. Good. Um, so Caitlin, whoops, I just missed it there. Caitlin said she's been working out a lot. Awesome idea. Um, that's going to help improve your mood. It's going to help your golf game when we can actually get out and play more. Um, Millie said she cheers on her brother when he's practicing basketball. Awesome. Um, Addison says same with coach, same as coach Ann. So she's uh, out walking a lot, getting outside. Um, Hope is helping around the house, um, staying home like you're supposed to, being good to, um, with her parents and not fighting. That's awesome. I like that a lot. And redecorating her room and doing a lot of organizing. Ooh, that sounds like fun. I need you to come to my house and, house and help me. Um, Brooklyn's been helping with her baby siblings. Um, Kaya says she's try to, trying something new and going on more bike rides. So those are awesome ideas. Really, really like them. Okay. Awesome. Well, thank you, girls. Um, can you guys see me okay? Yes. Awesome, because I can't see you guys. So, um... Uh, that's great. But like I said, Denise, um, not, not good with IT stuff. So anyway, so um, thank you for doing that because we want to make sure that we um, do practice the E-words right now at this time with everything going on that's crazy. And um, that way we can stay calm ourselves. So speaking of staying calm, I want us to do what we do before every girl's golf session. We warm up. Now, Find an area in your house that we don't need a lot of room because we're not going to be doing major, major muscle, muscles tonight. We're not going to be doing full swing tonight. We're just going to be talking about putting and things that you can do at home. So um, just using a small area. But if you would, don't make Coach Denise do this by yourself because she's already IT challenged. So um, I'm going to put this there. Erica, can you see me, guys? Yep. Yep. You're good. Okie dokie. First thing I want us to do is just breathe, because after I got kicked out of the uh, session and then I got back in through my phone, I just need to breathe. So just take a deep breath with me. What I want us to do is just inhale, big inhale. I want us to hold it and count to five. One, two, three, four, five, and then let it out. <sighs> Make some noise when you let it out too. Let's do that one more time. Big inhale. Hold it. Count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Let it out with some noise. 
I want us to do that two more times, but this time what I want us to do is instead of counting to five, I want us to say the five E words out loud while we're holding our breath, okay? So ready, big inhale. Empower, enrich, energize, engage, exercise, exhale. One more time, big inhale. Empower, enrich, energize, engage, exercise, exhale. And that's something you girls can do while if something is stressful at home, um, you're feeling overwhelmed, just stop, take a breath, take a big inhale, say the five E words out loud or in your own mind, and then it helps you refocus and then just do a big exhale. Keep yourself calm. So tonight we're gonna be working on a putting drill and we putt with our shoulders. So I want us to stretch our shoulders. So I want everybody to do it with Coach Denise. Don't make Coach Denise exercise all by herself, she's old. So I want us to stretch across here and feel that right in here, okay? Just stretch it and hold it. And then switch sides. And I want you to feel that right through here. One more time each side. And switch arms. All right, now, you probably won't be able to see me do this, but that's probably a good thing. Now I want us to touch our toes. Touch our toes, all the way down, all the way down. This is all the way down for Coach Denise. All the way down, all the way down. Stretch out the top back of those legs. Feel that stretch, touch your toes, feel the stretch right back there. All right, let it up. And now I want us to do a side stretch. Just because side stretches are great. They're awesome. The first thing in the morning when you get out of bed, just lean over to one side and feel it right up the side here. Oh, and then switch. Oh, feel that. And now let's do that one more time on each side. Oh, stretching is so important for any time we're gonna do something athletic, even if it's just putting. So always remember, take time to stretch. Now I want us to do some arm circles. So like I said, we're gonna be doing um, putting tonight. So we wanna work out our shoulders, get them warmed up. So let's do arm circles forward. And then backwards, big arm circles, backwards. Make sure you've got some room to do this. Don't hit your little brother or furniture or the dog. Now forward, one more time forward. Oh, that feels good. And one more time backward. Now we're gonna do a little aerobics just to get our heart going. Not a lot, because we don't need a lot for tonight. We wanna ease into this, but I want us to touch our elbow to the opposite knee, okay? We're gonna start out slow. Keep it going. Touch that elbow to your knee, make sure they touch. Now, a little faster, 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 faster. Okay, so it's kind of warm out. Um, I've got the windows open, I don't know about you, so I'm working up a little sweat. So that got us a little bit stretched out and got our heart going, so that's good. So the first thing we're gonna do now is um, talk about putting. And um, I wanna review the basics with you. And uh, this is something, putting is something you can practice at, inside, on carpet, on tile, on hardwood floors. Um, you can practice it outside. And yeah, those are different surfaces and they have different speeds. Well, how many times do you go to the golf course and you go to putt and maybe the greens are furry that day? So they're a little bit slower than normal. You have to adjust your putting stroke. If you're putting on hardwood floors or outside on the sidewalk, how many times do you go to the course and it's really fast that day? And again, you can't be zooming them by. You gotta adjust your putting stroke. So Coach Erica has our slide up about um, putting. And I wanna just go over the basics, review the basics putting stance. 
Um, you'll love Coach Denise's, uh, um, yeah, you'll love Coach Denise's A's. And uh, the putting stance is basically a capital A. So with capital A, I want you to have your feet just a little bit wider than the inside of your shoulders. And so if my head were the top of the A, my feet are the bottom, you can see how my feet are outside of my shoulders. My feet aren't narrow and close because this doesn't look like a capital A. If I stand like this, I look like I'm just a, an I. So we wanna do a capital A. And then um, I want us to put the putter in the middle of our stance. And um, so now you'll see that I'm a capital Y. My body is an A, but look, my arms form a V and then the tail of the club is the Y. And um, if you have a putter with you, great. If not, you don't need a putter. We'll just not do a, a capital Y, we'll just do a V. So we're right here with the V. So you can practice this in the mirror at home so you're not swinging any clubs in the house. Um, or you can get your putter and work on some carpet. Then I also want us to um, not break our wrist. So when you're putting back and forth, um, we want to maintain the Y throughout the putt. So when we come back, we um, have the Y shape. When we come forward, we have the Y shape. We don't have our wrists and our hands involved at all in the putt. They're nice and quiet and still. So Coach Eric is going to show you a video that I made last night, and I hope you enjoy it. I think it's a lot of fun. So hopefully you will too. Hey, girls. One thing while uh, Coach Eric is getting the video ready. Um, if you do not have golf clubs, um, you, if you need them, if you need a different size, um, any of that thing, let us know. Maybe, uh, maybe you can just uh, send us a chat and let us know if you don't, and we will arrange to get some to you um, and some practice golf balls and that kind of thing. Um, we'll, we'll do what we can to get everything to you. Just uh, send us a chat about that. Okay. Okay, guys, give me a second. What video is up on your screen? Uh, Lauren's and Coach Alexis. Can you see this? Is this Coach? Yeah. Yeah. Yep, that's what you want. Okay, you guys ready for some fun with animals? Here we go. Hi, golfers. Coach Denise here. And this is going to be a fun putting drill that you can do at home. All you need is your putter, some golf balls or a tennis ball, and some of your favorite stuffed animals. So I have put my favorite stuffed animals down. The object of this game is to save the toy. So what we're going to do is we're going to putt at each one of our toys. When the ball has hit the toy, then you get to run over, get your ball and the toy and bring it back. We're going to see how many putts it takes you to save all the toys. Once you save all your toys, then set them back up and do it again. See if you can beat your number. You can also do this with your family. See if you can beat your family too. Let's go over the putting stroke. Um, we want our feet about hip width apart. We want the putter in the middle of our body. We want to take hold of the putter with our palms facing each other. See right now I have a capital Y. We want to maintain the Y throughout our putting stroke. Coming back, coming through. We want a nice smooth tick tock back and through. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's see how we can how I can do it here. So go ahead and set up. Get the toy that you want to aim for. Okay. So I got one. One putt. Second putt. Maybe change your aim a little bit. Okay. I got two. Yeah. 
ratio. So keep track how many putts it takes you to save all the animals. Then keep your score in your head or write it down. Then set them back up and do it all over again. Good job, Coach Denise. Thank you. We got to entertain ourselves some way. So I know I have lots of stuffed animals and I bet you guys do too. You girls do too. So go ahead and have fun. Like I said, you can do that on any type of floor that you want. So um, any questions? <laughs> Thank you, Lauren. Yeah, Lauren said that that was fun and that they're going to play that tonight. Awesome. Oh, awesome, awesome, awesome. Yes, Lauren, you'll have to challenge Coach Alexis on that. And you'll have to let us know next week how you do. So, um, Christina, I yeah. see that you raised your hand. If you have a question, will you type it into the um, chat feature and we can answer it for you? My Q&A session thing won't pull up right now. Oh, yay, Brooklyn! All right, well, um, Coach Erica, do you wanna talk about our craft? <laughs> yeah, craft? Craft. <laughs> oh, let me get back to our other screen. So what we have next is, this was sent out a couple days ago. It's an All About Me Gazette. It's a newspaper page that we had put in your girls golf book if you have one of them. Um, if you have gone ahead and filled it out, we'd love for you to answer or put your little blurb in the chat and we're gonna read out some of the answers. I did hear Coach Denise had filled it out. So Coach Denise, you wanna give us an example? Yes, yes, ask me a question. Like what part do you wanna know? Tell me. Will you do the um, Junior Inventor Tells All? Yes. Oh yes, this was great, you guys. I got the award for being a junior inventor. What I invented was I invented a golf ball with GPS in it. And so my golf ball will go wherever I tell it to go. So it is so cool. So if I have a three foot putt, I never worry because I just program my ball to go right to the hole and I, win, I get it every time. Um, I never go in the water. My ball never goes in the water and you never lose your ball in the woods. So that's what I invented. And I don't want to brag, but Titleist right now is talking to me about maybe marketing that. Um, they're going to wait till this Corona thing dies down and probably next spring it's going to come out. But don't worry, all of you will get a free sleeve, a free sample, I promise. That's what I invented. <laughs> that was awesome, Coach Denise. Um, Lauren says that thinks that Coach Denise is silly, so I don't know. <laughs> I like oh, that. Yes. <laughs> so, um, anybody else? Did anybody else invent anything, or is it just me? Or did anyone else fill out any other part of this page? Or you can type in your favorite game and song and book and see if we have anyone that's similar with you. How about, um, how about you girls tell us, like, a uh, favorite game that you guys have played at home while everybody's kind of at home right now? Maybe you can do that or a favorite movie that you have watched while you've been home? I did a virtual call with my family who are in Indiana and Michigan last weekend, and we played Double Ditto, if anyone's heard of that. It's a great game where you have a little clue card, and it says, like, name two ice cream flavors, and whatever I name, someone else in the family has to name the same thing. That sounds fun. Uh, Brooklyn said her favorite game is Roblox. I don't know that one. I'll have to check that out. And her sister's, jo Jordan's favorite game is Five Crowns. I played that. I like that. And Lauren said she's played card game, card game trash with her mom. I don't know that one. Hope and Madison, if you haven't played Uno Flip, that is a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. All right, Roadblocks, Lawrence played that, and um, Piper's been doing the Pizza Fraction game. I like that. Ooh. Um, Kaya said her favorite movie that she's watched recently is The Spy Next Door. I like it. I don't know that one, but I'm going to check that out. These are all great ideas, and now I need to go on Amazon and see if I can find some. Yeah. 
Oh, wait a minute. Uh, Millie said, oh, this must be on uh, the, um, maybe the All About Gazette page. She said she's received the trophy teaching. She's a world-class happy person for 100 years, and she also likes to play Uno. All right, Uno's ha uh, pretty popular today. Caitlin likes face magnets, and Brooklyn's favorite movie is, before, hold on. Just I just lost it. Before I wake, before I wake, and that's on Netflix. And Jordan's is Invisible Sister. All right, these are awesome ideas. Um, I think it gives me some ideas of some games we can play, um, some movies we can watch. Millie's gonna watch um, Trolls a, Two tonight. There's a Trolls Two. What? Fun. All right, we got shoots and ladders. People like. The Onward movie on Disney Plus. These are awesome ideas. We'll have so, to check some of these out. So next week, look forward to another page coming out about from the All About Me section. It'll be coming through your email. Um, and try and have it filled out, and we can do this again next week and learn more about each other. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. And speaking of next week, another thing we thought we'd do next week is I want you girls to work on your putting this week. Even if you do it in a mirror, just watching yourself go back and forth to make sure you're making the Y and that you aren't breaking your wrists, um, work on your putting stroke. If you do get outside to do it, um, great. Um, I want you to work on putting. And another thing I want us to um, do for next week is uh, next week we're going to work on chipping. So um, that is something that you are going to need your parents' permission to do. So um, you don't have to necessarily chip golf balls or tennis balls. There are wiffle balls. Um, uh, your, if your dog has a Kong ball, those are great to chip with. I know. I have eight dogs. And um, so whatever works to uh, use for chipping, you can do it inside. Um, if you um, are allowed, if you have the space and you have your parents' permission in a room that nothing's breakable, or you can do it outside at all different kind of targets. So um, Coach Ann and her daughter made a video just for you girls. So um, I want you to watch this to see how creative they got, and maybe it'll give you some ideas. So before I switch it over, I don't remember if we said this or not, but if you um, don't have clubs or the ability to get clubs or balls, let one of us know or someone from the first tee, and they are willing to give out clubs or um, snag equipment during this time. So just let us know if you need any equipment. And let me figure out how to switch over to another screen. Coach Erica is going to show this video. So my daughter, um, she plays golf in college, and she helped me out on it for this video. So it's just some fun ideas that you can do for chipping. Are you ready? Yep. Hey, golfers. This is Coach Ann. I want to talk to you today about just some fun activities that you can do in your backyard. Just going to hit some fun targets, just a little bit of chipping practice. First thing I want you to do though, ask your parents if you're allowed to do this, if you're allowed to hit in your backyard or a neighborhood park or somewhere that's safe. I'll always remember that the safety's first. So um, when we are chipping, we're going to use, you can use golf balls if you've hit a little bit already this year. Um, maybe you want to start with tennis balls or some little plastic golf balls if you have. Um, we do want to talk about your why. Just remember when you're chipping, you want your lowercase y stance with your arms and your club. You want your weight on your front foot, and the ball's going to be back in your stance. So when you swing, you're going to go y to y. Right, let's see what kind of fun we can have. Okay, golfers, we're ready to go. So Lauren's going to start out hitting some tennis balls first, and she's just going to um, hit to some milk jugs and water jugs that we have on hand here at home. So whatever you've got around the house, you can use, you know, as long as your parents say it's okay, obviously, but uh, you can hit to anything you want. See if she can get it on the second try. There you go. Nice. All right. So now she's going to move over. And she's going to try to hit the milk crates. Just trying to get it into the milk crate. All right. A little bit more. 
but she can switch to golf balls whenever she feels like she's ready to do that. Oh, nice shot. All right, Lauren, Lauren switched over to uh, the golf balls now, and she's going to uh, try to hit the dinosaur that's on the um, target out there, right straight in front of her. Let's see what she's got. Almost. Should get it there. Let's give her one more chance. So we happen to have a, one of the ladder golf games here at home. So this is one of the things we're using for targets. Just gonna see um, if she can get it up and over. Something that you might need to use, a shot that you'll need to use sometimes in your game. Perfect, perfect shot. Hey golfers, I hope you had fun today. What I want from you now is some ideas of targets that you can hit in your backyard. So anyway, I think we're done and now it's time to wash our hands. Great job. All right. So those, those are some ideas, that, just some things we had around the house that we could use as targets. So anything that you have that, you know, your parents say it's okay to use, um, you know, try something out. Let us know. Let us know what you're using um, for targets so that maybe we can try that as well. And don't think you have to use golf balls. Yes, golf balls are great, but don't think you have to use golf balls. You can use a tennis ball, or like I said, a Kong ball, or a wiffle ball. There's all kinds of things you can use that won't take out your window or your neighbor's window. So, um, what club was she using? Pardon me? What club was she using? Uh, she was using a either a sand wedge or a pitching wedge. So I would definitely use either a sand wedge, pitching wedge, if you don't have one of those, maybe a nine iron, but definitely don't pull out your driver or anything like that. Something, you know, a, you know, a very um, lofted club. Lofted club, yes, yes. Good job, good job. And then next week, um, for next week, if you have a wedge, have it with you. If you don't have a wedge, don't worry about it. Um, we can make the same motion with our arms and do a lot of mirror work. Um, now's the time to really work on our fundamentals. Um, we can't be together, we can't go out and be silly and talk and if we hit, you know, hit the ball in between all of that, which is what golf usually is for Coach Denise. Um, I usually like just to get together with my friends and oh, by the way, we hit the ball until it goes in the hole and then we do it again. So um, now's the time to really work on some of our fundamentals. Um, we have the girls golf book on Google Docs. If you need that link, we'll get that sent to you. If you don't have any part of the girls golf booklet, but now is the time to uh, look at the rules and hone in on those. Get familiar with golf words and um, just get ready so that when this whole thing is lifted, you're ready to go. You've got a good core because you've been doing your exercises. You've got your fundamentals down because what else do we have to do besides play games with our parents and our family and be on our virtual schoolwork and do that? And um, there's not a lot we can do. There's not a lot of places we can go. So while things have kind of slowed down and quieted down, let's get back to some fundamentals. So next week we have some fun chipping exercises that we are going to be working on. And um, we'll get some more fun video content for you that you can laugh with us at and um, we'll go over the basic fundamentals. We'll have um, another little presentation. We'll go over the all about me and um, we'll probably even have another video from one of you girls ready for next week. So you can kind of see each other that way even though we all can't see each other at the same time. So I think that that was great. If you guys need anything from us, please get it in the chat and um, 
Let One thing, just real quick, we just had a question about the girls, um, the golf book. Um, a couple of the girls were at the camp last summer, so, and we didn't actually pass those out during the camp. We just did that during the regular session. So what we will do is um, we will have the first T office send out a link. It will have a link to um, all the pages for the girls golf book that we have. And then we will also include um, the websites that um, Lauren and Coach Alexis were using tonight. So we will get all that um, emailed out to um, your parents probably this week, I would, I, I think. Maybe. If not Thursday or Friday, it'll definitely be by Monday. So we'll, we'll definitely get that information to you. Yes, absolutely. So um, I want you to practice your putting. Practice some chipping, get warmed up, uh, keep doing your exercises every day, and um, let us know um, how you've used the engage, how you've engaged at home. Let us know how you've done that this coming week, and let us know how you've used the word empower this coming week. So get ready to talk about that on Wednesday. Anything else, ladies? I don't think so. Thank you, everyone, for being here and being part of our first virtual girls golf class. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank, yeah. You, thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much for participating. We definitely miss seeing you girls in person, but i um, glad that we can at least do this, um, at least for now. So we will see you girls next week. Yes. Take care. Be safe. Be healthy and wash your hands. <laughs> Bye guys. Bye. Bye.